Those opening shots with some muzzle flash were of the Underwood ammo, 10 millimeter, 135 grain Nosler jacketed hollow point. High velocity, high energy. And here's the number that I think has caught some folks' attention and why I've had so many requests to test this. Check out that advertised velocity. 1,600 feet per second. Moving along for this 40 caliber bullet. Now I don't know what barrel length that Underwood was using to get that number, but I'm running tonight with the Glock 20. This is the SF or short frame model. 4.6 inch factory barrel using the factory spring. And there are my five shots from 10 feet. Looking good, we're going in the right direction. And there's my five shot average. Just missed it. 1,594 feet per second and an amazing 762 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. Probably not a hunting load. I think you want to go heavier in the 10 millimeter, but it's your choice. This is more than likely going to be a pretty good personal defense round. Change in protocol beginning with this test. Uh, no, not with the denim. Still running four layers, but a clear block. Considering moving away from the sim test and going with this product from clearballistics.com. This is their FBI block, 16 inches in length, 6 inches wide, 6 inches in height. It does recycle. It is already calibrated and does maintain its calibration. It does not have any water in it. Cannot add water. So I'll be watching the calibration, which by the way, there's my BBs coming in at 3.7 inches. You can see a few air bubbles in there. This is not a perfect process, but I'm looking forward to recycling this and your feedback on the clear ballistics block. Wow, is that not the coolest stuff? And yeah, I know, high-speed camera. Don't have a high-speed camera. Send me a couple hundred thousand dollars and I'll pick up a high-definition high-speed camera. For now, I'm just going to have to maximize my slow motion capabilities in the editing software. This is incredible. There's a close-up. So I've already saved myself about 45 minutes to an hour going through here and finding the bullet. Let me see what I can come up with. i got a couple of ideas for you. I'm going to try to break this down into a slice, but the penetration at a glance is coming in 10 and a half inches. There's the high end on expansion, but the average is 0.753 inches. Lost some pieces somewhere. 135 grain bullet is coming in at 123 grains. Underwood's 10 millimeter, 135 grain Nosler has excellent true velocities. It hits hard. I really can't say anything pertaining to accuracy because I really didn't test for accuracy in this format or my test shots. The expansion was fantastic and the bullet held together at this velocity. I was really surprised by that, but it did really, really well. This is a very well constructed bullet. With regard to penetration, 10.5 inches is below the FBI minimum of 12. On the other hand, how can you disregard this amount of energy that's going into that, that space? How can you disregard that glimpse that we had of the temporary cavities? I think this could be a, a very good self-defense load for 10 millimeter. Now with regard to this structure or format of the block, I like that we can see a lot of things and that we have that opportunity to see the temporary cavity. We have at a glance the penetration and where you can see fragments and so forth. Uh, the one thing that I ran into I was trying to give you a three-dimensional model by getting by cutting within an inch or so of that permanent cavity and just being able to show you a strip of the you know the the, the uh, permanent cavity really couldn't do that 
the closer you get to that those points or that area you are distorting the clarity of the block with the knife and it, it just doesn't work so we actually had a better picture of that permanent cavity early on in this process so I spent a lot of time off camera doing that and I think that, that uh, could be the one drawback for some folks so let me know what you think with regard to adding simulated bone at some point I really need a clear structure like this so there's some there's some trade-offs and I do need your assistance on figuring out which direction to go with it thanks for watching